Simone and Ricky. Here we go. Ricky Brewer. Hey, how's it going? Ricky, how are you? Paul, Outsider Tackle Box radio show and podcast. I got my good buddy, Tommy, here too. Hey, what's going on, Ricky? How you doing, bud? Good. How are you guys doing this morning? Uh, we're awake. We're here. And we're dressed. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yes. That's it. We're dressed as sharks because this is uh, Shark Week 2019. This so on the Week video summer. later, you'll see us wearing... Our we look outfits. like a couple of idiots, to be completely honest, Ricky. We look like a couple of idiots, but but you know, and with all due respect, I mean, <laughs> people that listen to the show, do they really expect any different? I don't. I think they want us. Yeah, they look at the show like and they're idiots. like, mm. I don't think they want us <laughs> to. We just look fun. that way, and they they're just like, No, yeah, your shark hat barely fits. <laughs> I'm a fat shark. <laughs> you, you need a bigger <laughs> shark hat. Hey, you know what? Don't oof, whatever. Don't judge me. It's like the shark is trying to throw you up. It's like, I can't. I ate too much. <laughs> I ate too much. I can't fit all this. <laughs> Get this out of my out of me. Well, welcome to the show. Thanks for sending in the fish photos. We're spreading happiness to the world through the joys of fishing. And fishing is therapeutic for a lot of people. So mm-hmm. listen to the fish fish story. Couldn't get that out. I could could, you? Who knew that the, that sentence was going to be nobody else? Uh, nobody me. else knew that that would be that hard for you. I but know it, it's just you. Anybody else is like, hey, you know, I could say that sentence. <laughs> Anybody for else you. can talk. <laughs> Fish story is therapeutic, yeah, it's and it's just good. good fun. What was that, Ricky? It is. So no, we're I gonna sometimes tongue twisters are yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too many. Uh, there's not even the same letter. I can't even say like. Fish story, like if there's like a lean house, seashells no. by the seashore no, type of you, thing. No, no, It's not like fish you just, by the friends, like too many Fs. It's like, you it know what, Ricky, this guy comes up to me and he goes, hey, I got an idea. Let's do a podcast. And I'm like, dude, you can barely talk. Yeah, we're going to talk to people. I'm like, you barely can talk? Tommy doesn't, uh, he, he uh, doesn't want to share that he said no to the podcast. And he no, was like, no, that's too much I work. Did. You know what it was? I don't want to get on a I, podcast. I've always been told I, you know, I'm just too, too handsome for the radio, <laughs> and uh, I face. just, you know, I was, yeah, I, it, I'm just you're a TV. Kind I was of, made for TV. Yeah, yeah, but then the camera adds ten pounds, and that just would have been oof. Uh, that guy <laughs> barely fits in the camera I know lens. That feeling all too well. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we need widescreen for the widescreen. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Let's do a cooking green, show. Green screen magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ricky. Well, th- this is your podcast, man. So uh, we saw on their pictures that you sent into us. You got a bass and you got a, a couple of good slabs there from uh, a couple of good, uh, looks like pa- uh, crappie there. So uh, yeah. this is your fish story. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. The and, uh, format is that you, sh- you yeah. tell us where you caught the fish, the uh, bait you yeah. were using, and... Um, the size of those fish, if and, you're able. And to honestly, measure. if you don't want to tell us where you caught the fish, if it's a super secret uh, fishing oh, spot, you can lie to us not, because no. over here in Southern California, we uh, we're kind of slow. Tommy so. doesn't <laughs> like driving anywhere to go fish, so I doubt yeah, that's true too. We're gonna go fish the area. You would be you would be totally screwed here because that's the unfortunate thing about where I live. It's like I love Texas, but I live in the far northern Panhandle, and it. It's an hour plus any body body of water, and oh, the man. ones that are relatively close are not. They're not. They're not any good at all. I mean, they're not really. They're they're decent for for you know, what they are certain things, but yeah, I mean, they're not any. There's not. There's you know no trophy bass lake. I mean, it's yeah. nothing. You know, not like they're on Dallas, East Texas, stuff like that. I mean, it's just. So I mean, that makes it really hard too. So I mean, a lot, a lot of people up here. I mean, it's growing up. I mean, my grandmother used to laugh at me because. You know, most kids, you know, growing up, they were, you know, getting into trouble, you know, doing things they weren't supposed to. And me and my cousins and friends, I mean, we would go right up and down dirt roads and try to find a creek or a, or a pond. Go find somewhere to, to get your you know, line wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, stop and ask farmers. I mean, it didn't matter if it was just catching mud cat, you know, parrots. I mean, it was, and that's what we always did, so. Yeah, it was just something you know, fun she used to, to do. Laugh. So I guess you could be this, yeah. But yeah, that's. That I caught, I caught me and a, a buddy of mine. He has, he has some ponds on a, on a ranch where he lives, and we get together every once in a while, and we, we go out, and I mean they're not, what yeah. I would consider like, 
you know, super stocked or spoiled ponds. I mean, you got to work at it. But me and him would go out and get in, get in the bass busters or the water wagons, and we'll have like a a one day tournament. We'll make a bet on it. And that day, I mean, we caught. I don't know. I think I ended up catching twenty six or twenty seven bass. They were all about oh, wow. that same size in the three to five pound range. And and oh, of course wow. we we have a big debate because I like War Eagle spinner baits, and he's a big Booyah fan. Which I like Booyah too, but. If, you know, it's a back and forth game all day. You know, you catch one and you he know, yells booyah, and I catch one. I'm yelling war yeah. eagle. So, <laughs> to, to to be honest, it, you know, it, it's like it's like Ford and Chevy. You know, I mean, people just they exactly. swear they swear by theirs, and that's it. There's no other no other option for them. So, I mean, it's just how they do. We use a lot of those baits too. Yeah, hey, I caught that one on a I caught that one on a half ounce chartreuse and white, and like I said, that's pretty much. I think I used. That's all I threw that day, except for, I think I did throw a uh, Rip Clun, a crankbait, you know, and caught a few on it. But other mm-hmm. than that, I mean, it's, you know, it's just, you find what they're biting on and you stick with it. And that's it. I mean, the same process goes for, you know, lakes, reservoirs. I mean, once you figure the bite out, it, that's oh, yeah. 90% of it is figuring it out. So, <laughs> and then the copy, this up here is. this year, this probably, it is, it really is, it's guesswork. Yeah. But uh, the crappie this year, at, you know, we've had such a drought up here for the last 14 or 15 years. I mean, it's not to bore you guys, but, like, you look at the lake levels, like, from week to week, and it's like mm-hmm. right now it's like, you know, current level 77 feet, still 50 feet low. It's like, you know, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, wow. I mean, it's like, you know, how, you know, and, I mean, they're they're full compared to what they have been in 15 years, but yeah. they, there's been a lot of restocking and, and stuff on one of the largest, you know, Lake Merritt. That's one of the largest reservoirs we have, and yeah. this is probably one of the best years for for walleye and crappie. And I mean, I caught them on on just you know assorted, you know, road runners. I mean, oh, yeah, try just, jigs, just little jig jigs, and tips stuff. with minnows. I mean, yeah, Kalins, you know, the Berkeley, the Berkeley gulps, you know, the four inch, yep. you know, on yeah. on you know the big old half ounce hot pink jig heads. I mean, just a a multitude of yeah, they they must have just been it's hungry. It's been a really good year. Yeah, they were just hungry and they were eating at everything. They they were. I mean, they're still and and they're not. None of them are huge yet. I mean, because they had know. you know when the the lake got so low. I mean, it had a a bloom of golden algae and then the you know of course there's you know heavy metals in all water and the the yeah. mercury content and all that was so high that it killed off a lot of the fish. But it's it's making a good comeback if people will quit taking you know ever. Ever walleye, ever copy, ever bass they catch. I mean, yeah, that is an issue. That's the at thing times. that scares me this year was seeing the same person over there every day taking like, you know, because our, our limit here is it's twenty five a day on copy, ten inches or larger. And there was guys that were, you know, taking their twenty five. I mean, every day, and I was like, groups of four and five of them just take. I mean, and they were all big this yeah. year. I mean, everything was, you know, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen inch big old slabs. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm a right. firm believer on you know if your limits something, just take you know if if, if we take, do a lot of catch take what you can, take what you can eat. Fish once yeah, in that's a while. what I'm saying. I just take, can't take what you can exactly. eat. You know, just don't, you know if you go trout fish like out here. Our trout fishing is is a uh, five a day, uh-huh. and and uh, you know right. I'm not gonna eat five trout. You know, I and mean, we didn't, you're, one we're or two. too lazy to store things. And we're too like lazy to store and, the you know, airtight and bags and. Yeah, so it's just like you know what? Hey, I'm I'm probably only gonna eat one, or maybe two, them. and that's it. Either. Like everything goes back, you know. Oh yeah. So um, that's what that's what I typically do, you know, for yeah. a day, and you know, my wife and I go or whatever, and I'll keep, you know, between the two of us, keep like eight or ten crappie, maybe. Yeah. If you know, if she lo- she loves the bait fish, she cuts a, a channel cat or two. But you know, other than that, I mean, we bring it home, and I, you know, I fillet it up and put that's it in a bag, and I put the bait and stuff on it, and then we. We eat it, but I mean, we, you know, I, I get a kick out of that talking about fish and the, the whole debate all the time. I see it in a lot of a groups that I'm, you know, part of on Facebook and everything. And it's mm-hmm. like, you know, well, you can't keep bass. You can't keep bass. And I mean, I just laugh because, you know, some people that, you know, I, I agree with catch and release to, yeah. you know, especially if you're not it's just going to go to waste, I mean, to a degree, but you know, the, they're, Overpopulation is one of the hardest things on on anybody of water period, and people don't realize that. I mean, for one, well, a lot, a have, lot of 
a lot of no places. Forage, no bait fish when it's overpopulated. Yeah. Uh, di- different regions have different rules. And then all your fish rules. are the same size. Yeah, different yeah. regions have different rules. So, I mean, they sometimes they're like, hey, you know, there, there's too much of a population or something. We need to clear stuff out. I mean, look at, uh, you know, with the uh, the Asian carp situation. And, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, that. That's they, a bad deal. Yeah. I mean, you know, so that's why they have I mean, those little. Those, waterways. Yeah, that's why they have those little uh, those little tournament things and those little clean clean up uh, festivals and stuff like that. But um, no, I'm I'm a firm believer. You know, take what you take what you know if it's legal, take what you can eat and yeah. and, and leave everything else. And you know, if it's a, it's an it's if it's a natural fish to the area, then you know, leave it, kind of thing. Take your picture, oh, yeah. leave it. But. Well, I've never eaten a bass, but it's probably. Has I've, a lot I've never, to do with, I never have. I have I've always trouble released. catching them. I've, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I've only caught a handful of bass yeah. in my lifetime. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. But I love to do but it. Oh, well. in, in your defense, I will give you. Uh, uh, in your defense, we hardly ever go bass fishing. Yeah, it's kind we of usually for go us trout to fishing. Go, it's, yeah. I mean, there are some places, but they're local parks, and they got some. They got some big bass in there too, yeah. and it's just going to the park yeah. for me. Is it's fun, but it's hard to get this guy. Tommy's my fishing buddy. Like he likes to to, to sit around and, and watch TV, so it's hard for us to get on the water. That, well, you know what, Ricky? You know that's how I keep my uh, my curvy cur- figure. My, that's why I keep my curvy figure and my cherub like demeanor. You. you know, I mean it. it you know, it works you. out for me. And and you I do know, go by myself though. I'll, hey, I'll do some surf fishing. I've said it, so close I've to said the it ocean. once, and I'll say it again. Chicks dig chubby dudes, man. So oh, I gotta keep. Go I gotta keep my figure. He wants to talk about him again. Nah, it's just- <laughs> I just saw that, all that being being all that sexy fisherman. That's all it is. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. He just wants to look. You want to look good by the time you get when you do finally get on the water. You want to be like this. Yeah. This is a fisherman. They, they, I want people to look at me and go, "That guy knows what he's, he's doing." He's a fisherman. I may know nothing, yeah. but I can look good in a boat. <laughs> well, you, you, I did. We there did get go. pulled over once by the fishing game when we were headed up to the Sierras. We were coming back actually, and they wanted to. Uh-huh. Check. They were checking. There's. It's a hunting and fishing season, and they asked what we're doing there, and they, we told them we were just fishing, and and we didn't look like fishermen. They're like, because everybody else that they stopped was just like Tommy, like big guys. They don't do a lot of movement, so they don't thought we were hunting. We're hunters because nobody in that particular car was fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> don't diss, man. Don't diss. <laughs> So if I was in the car with Tommy, they would be like, yeah, they're well, definitely fishing. In your fishermen. defense, they probably pulled you over and they looked at you and went, that guy never catches fish. <laughs> Maybe. They're like, Maybe. Maybe. what's your name? Oh, Paul? Oh, yeah, we, we've heard about you. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on the show, Ricky. Uh, we enjoyed the fish stories. And you're welcome to come back at any time. Yeah, absolutely. And anytime. we appreciate you oh, participating yeah. in... Just the group and and the, the live feeds and everything there and and uh, when we did talk we, when I reached out to you you did mention that you've already seen the show so when I hear that that's like music to my ears you bring smile ear to ear smiles oh, yeah. to my face and so I enjoy listening to it I, the humor you know I, there's nothing better than a good laugh and unfortunately I love to talk so hey. you know I could talk for <laughs> we, we, days especially about fishing. We love to listen and you know as far as the humor goes well you know you've seen the show we're a bunch of idiots. So <laughs> uh no one real quick hey, thing I, I, fit, I fit right into that category. <laughs> Even when we're done yes, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. people <laughs> the people are like Wait. we didn't get that on camera cuz Tommy and I are st- it's hard to well, stop yeah. once we get going. Yeah. <laughs> so they're like we needed yeah. to film that. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're just yeah. yeah, but one real quick thing. Um, it also, uh, I know you are a pro staff uh, member. Oh for, yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not I, forget I don't want to. I don't want to forget Wait, about that. I so. love the name. Actually, the enti- this entire episode, Brewer, it, for beer. Yeah, yeah. We're 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 yeah. 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 And then uh, Funk Funk Buster Spin no Beats. Buster. Yeah. Let's hear about them. Yeah. Where to find them and and, and what oh, you they, do as pro staff. It's a. Uh, it's a, you know, I mean, obviously a American owned company, you know, Paul is a veteran. I mean, he, he's done this for a few years now and it started, you know, with little or nothing. I mean, he, they have an awesome line of, of baits. I mean, obviously, I mean, they've got, you know, well beyond just spinner baits. I mean, they have a whole top water line. They have, perfect um, 
the warbirds, which are basically the same as, uh, you know, like your your chatterbaits, but it's yeah. their version of chatterbaits. I mean, shaky head, finesse, I mean. And then nice. they just keep, you know, creating more and more and more. I mean, you know, like I said, you guys have to check them out. I mean, they, you know, they're, they're always running some good specials. They do like a, a monthly mystery box. Um, nice. If any of you guys want to buy anything, you can use Ricky 10 and save 10% at checkout. Nice. Um, you know what, Ricky? So, I mean, they're uh, offline. Like, you know, just send us a, a message um, on the on the messenger and uh-huh. uh, send me some contact information for Funkbuster, and I'll, I'll get in contact with them. I will. Yeah, we. I looked at the yeah, website. Yeah, I definitely yeah. will. Yeah, I want to. I want to get in contact. I already with did them. my yeah, background uh, work, Tommy. Like I, that's all you have to do is look up Funkbuster Spinner Base. Would you just you stop talking website. so Ricky can talk? <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I definitely send you the information. But uh, also, uh, there's another group, uh, RPG Outdoors, that uh, y'all guys need to check out. Maybe talk to them. They, they do a lot. They promote a lot of uh, uh, of youth stuff. You know, up and coming, preteen, high school fishing. You know, collegiate stuff. They're, you know, they're cool. they're trying to grow their page and their group. And they're, you know, Robert and Angie are, are super super good people. Mm-hmm. They do like you know weekly giveaways on their page, and mm. so it's they're they're a really good group of people. So RPG, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, Tell everybody a, where they can find yeah, you, I, you know, your Instagram and and uh, YouTube if you got it. Facebook. Yeah, well, my 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 Instagram is this. It's just at Brewer seven nine zero six five, and then my YouTube. I think it's just uh, I think it's just Rick Brewer nineteen seventy four. Okay. Uh, I'll have to double check it. I really don't do a whole lot. I mean, I watch a lot on YouTube, but I, I just, I don't. I have, you know, I have some cameras and stuff, but I just haven't had, you know, much time this year. Much to, I've been planning on doing some. Yeah, well, because I help with uh, a couple pages, and you know, Kobe's hunting and fishing is one of the main ones I help with, and we do, you know, a lot of. It's, it's all outdoor. It's hunting and fishing based, and you know, there again, mm-hmm. he's you know he's a super good guy too, and. I'm kind of a, I'm on his field staff as well. And nice. so, you know, we try to do videos and, you know, just, we talk about new products a lot, you know, buy them our own, you know, where somebody will, you know, give him something to test out and nice. kind of give some feedback and review. So, I mean, it's, I enjoy doing it because I, I don't get to get out and do this as much as, as I want to anymore because I have some health issues, but I, every chance I get, I mean, I, I try to get out and enjoy what <clears throat> the good Lord created and, like you said, fishing is it's it's therapeutic for me. It's yeah, the most it. relaxing thing in the world, and and at the same time, it makes me the angriest person in the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. like, hey, you know, hey, we know that you got to give and take some. I mean, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> we certainly understand not having a, a YouTube. It's hard. having videos is a lot of work. We, Tommy was in charge of the YouTube for an entire year, and, and I did nothing, and he did absolutely zero. There was no videos. I gotta live up to the hype. And uh, I was like, <laughs> you, you know go. what? I'll, we finally, I, I took it over, which happens to almost everything. And we finally got some videos up. <laughs> so, wham, but wham, the, wham, thanks wham. for coming on the show and uh, send us your info offline. Hey, We're gonna you send you some. Me. I've enjoyed it. Oh, I had a great time. Oh, a great we, time. Just, we have. Uh, I, I could stay on this call for longer, but we have. We have. Uh, we have an caller. We, we have we, one I last. I know you call. got other ones. And yeah. we're gonna send you some free stuff. So send us your mailing address, and we're gonna send you some free tackle. Oh, cool! Yeah. And then uh, reach out to hey, Tommy, that's always good, or whoever, however you want to reach out to reach us. Reach out to either one of us, or the contacts even on the main. for the uh, the fishing group that that you belong for, to. The for the Funk Pro Buster staff. and yeah. the, the other one, yeah. the RPG, Tommy. That's what. Yeah, you said. I'll, I'll I'll just send all that to the to the same link that uh yeah that I've been getting getting a hold of you guys, and I'll just send all that information to you guys. And yeah, y'all can definitely get in touch with them. Like I said, they. You know they're all they're all great people, and I know there's thousands more out there that are. You well, know, you know we we we're good, we're big on to be we're big on supporting that. local artisans and and stuff like that. We want to help them grow because you know, it's they're the ones that actually are the fishing community. You know, they're they're the ones making well, the they, gear. They're, they're like I consider them I consider them family. To and me. that's I mean, it. All, and all you know all three all three people I named. I mean they're like they go above and beyond what I'm saying. Like and that's you it. know. You know, even being on pro staff, it's like someone has a, you know, like me, for example, you know, having a health issue or someone, you know, having a shortfall or something come up and, you know, they go above and beyond. I mean, they'll, they'll do a fundraiser. They'll try to, 
yep. help come up and, with the money, do a the, raffle. Those, I mean, you know, it's just great people. And those are the people that we enjoy helping and helping them grow because they're the ones helping each other. Like they help all of you guys. You know what I mean? So, so we enjoy yeah. doing that. Fun so. Buster has their own, you know, they have their own, uh, they have their own youth, uh, you know, fishing program as well. And they're always looking for, and I think it's a good thing. I mean, it's with all the, the crime these days, the drug, the drug abuse, you know, yeah. well, I think, well, you know, all the nonsense I've always on. thought, you know, give a kid a fishing pole and get them outside, get them off the Xboxes, the laptops, yeah. the cell phones. That's it. You got to bring the you funk. Know. Yeah, <laughs> That's I've been sitting on that. I couldn't wait tough. to say it. He's like, I'm waiting. Oh, no, I'm waiting. They don't, there it is. They'll customize. They'll customize any bait. But yeah, yeah. That, that's a good motto. I mean, seriously. Yeah, we bring no. the funk. Bring the funk. They're welcome man. to use it. That would bring me yeah. the joy. I'd be like, yeah. he, he's gonna it's sit not back and be like, I'm sure they've already. I thought about. No, no, no. I'm sure they've already sent. Oh, I'm sure they. Part of the reason they chose that name not yeah. anything i said no that, but i just wanted to like say anybody that would, bring the funk like anybody would use something you know what's surprising it. about this call is you knew about the asian carp situation yeah like yeah. that to me was just you blew my you mind know, my mind is blown this shark hat can't even fit my head see here's the thing i sit and i watch a lot of tv so <laughs> national geographic ain't got nothing on me Okay. I sit back and I'm like, oh, that Asian carp situation. That's... But the fact that you were able to retain that information and then repeat I retain it the most useless yeah. information at times. <laughs> Asian carp. Hey, guess what? Kangaroos can't hop backwards. You're welcome to use that one. Sometimes it's useful, though. <laughs> <laughs> Kangaroos can't hop backwards. One. Sharks have a lot of teeth. Yeah, that's that's something that Sharks I Sharks only bite when you touch their private <laughs> pots. <laughs> All right, Ricky. All right, Rick, it take was care. a pleasure. You have a good one from all of us all here right, at guys, Outsider. Take it easy. Thank y'all for having me. Tight, Tight lines, lines, bud. Fish more. All right. Bye. All right. Same here. Bye.